क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स इज टू आइडेंटिकल मेटल बॉल्स विद चार्ज ओके लेट्स मेक अ डायग्राम रफ डायग्राम ओके सो दिस इज अ मेटल बॉल चार्ज टू क्यू अनदर वन विद चार्ज माइनस क्यू सेपरेटेड बाय सम डिस्टेंस सो इफ दे आर सेइंग सम लेट्स अज्यूम इट आर यू कैन अज्यूम एनीथिंग ओके आई एम टेकिंग आर एंड एग्जर्ट फोर्स एफ ऑन ईच अदर सो द फोर्स एक्टिंग ऑन देम इज लेट्स मेक इट प्रॉपर के व्हाट्स द चार्ज ऑन द फर्स्ट वन टू क्यू व्हाट्स द चार्ज ऑन द सेकंड वन माइनस क्यू आई एम इग्नोरिंग द नेगेटिव साइन व्हाई बिकॉज द वी ऑलवेज टेक द मैग्नीट्यूड इन द कुलम्स लॉ अपॉन आर स्क्वायर ग्रेट now they are joined by a conducting wire okay initially which is then removed okay so now initially they are not joined okay so this let me make a rough diagram for separation so let's call it as this here okay this is the distance so that you don't get confused okay let's read the question once again so that we will be clear with this particular problem two identical metallic balls identical means there must be same radii with one having charge plus 2q another one having charge minus q are separated by some distance or oh, let's assume it as r and they exert force f on each other okay now this is the situation this is the value of f how much it is 2 k q square by r square this is f okay let's read the second part very carefully they are saying they are joined by a conducting wire so let me join this with the conducting wire so basically what happens when they are joined with a conducting wire okay the charge will be distributed by law of conservation of charge right and what will be let's call it as a let's call it as b what will be the new charge on a so new charge on a will be charge on a plus but sir negative yeah charge you have to take the sign sir why because it's a scalar quantity when you are adding charges you will take the sign so this will be 2q minus q which is q by 2 and the charge will redistribute in such a way that the final charge on both of them will be same right so what will be the new force so the new force will be f dash which is equals to k the new charge on a new charge on b whole divided by they are talking anything about the separation no so you will keep the separation same if it is not mentioned in the particular question about the distance you will not do any change so this will be 1 by 4 k q square by r square great now k q square by r square okay let's divide this since we don't know so let's divide this equation 1 and let's divide this equation 2 if you divide both of them f upon f dash will be equals to 2 k q square by r square whole divided by 1 by 4 k q square by r square let's cancel out both and 4 will go up and this will become 8 k q square by k r square will cancel out for both and if you cross multiply then f by 8 will be equals to f dash and this is the proof that the new force f dash is our new force that is 1/8 of the previous force so the correct answer for the sixth question is option d